Uh, Ken Lloyd True Ferris, we have spoken before. Um, thank you for turning up today, it's fantastic. We're getting a little support of our local MP. Um, there is one agenda which I've been noticed, it's in the Bingham World National News this week, which is to do with the, uh, the, the Council's drugs policy. And you're actually spoken out very bravely, I think, on behalf of, I think, which is the right decision which is to have somewhere dedicated for heroin addicts to go. Um, so would you like to give a comment on that? Yes, I mean, basically there's been an independent commission that's been looking at the issue of drugs in Brighton because obviously we have had this unenviable title as the drugs death capital of Britain, even though thankfully we've, we've lost it this year. So the commission has looked at a range of, of, of different proposals and one of them was that there should at least be a feasibility study into whether or not to have, as you say, a safe place for heroin addicts in particular to come and be able to uh, inject their drugs so that they're not on street corners or in stairwells or in public parks, possibly at danger to themselves, possibly leaving needles and sharps around where other people can um, fall across them. What interests me about that proposal as well, I think it's something that we should look into, and what interests me as well is that I think it might be a way that we can reach some um, drug addicts who can't, currently aren't in treatment, but we might be able to build relations yeah. of trust with them and therefore have you know, be able to look after them better and maybe get them into treatment and then on to recovery. So to my mind, there are a lot of positives about this proposal. I understand it's controversial, uh, but I think we should at least look at it in a bit more detail. And I'll to I'm totally 100% in agreement with you because there is a precedent for this in Switzerland when they actually legalised heroin, did this sort of uh, scheme, it took crime right down and everyone was happy. And to, get, to, to withdraw someone off a drug, you need to do it gradually and in a, in a systematic scientific uh, ma uh, measure. Would, you, would that be fair to say? I think that is fair to say. I think drug addiction is a, a health issue, not a criminal issue. Um, you know, dealing certainly is a criminal issue, but when you're in a, a, someone who is addicted, that is a health issue and should be treated as such. So uh, I think we should shift it to that. And of course, here in Britain, sadly, we have a, a drugs policy which is just about evidence-free. I mean, no one, you know, the government doesn't want to look at the evidence. It doesn't care about the evidence. Um, and when we've got evidence of these, as they're called, drug consumption rooms around the country, they're in, sorry, around the world, they're in about um, eight different countries, I think 90 different uh, locations and rooms. The evidence appears to be that, as you say, they work. So let's at least look at the evidence. Let's see whether it might work here. See, that's forward thinking. That's what we want people. And, and uh, just in finishing, I will say that uh, in 2009, the, uh, the government's drug sale, they like to call them, Professor David Nutt, he actually ridiculed the government's uh, drugs policies effectively. Now, do you think it's time we had a look at the drugs policies in this country? Absolutely. Our drugs policy should be based on evidence, not on tabloid headlines or on fear. And if we based it on headline, if we based it on evidence, we'd have a much better chance of both getting better care for people who are addicts, reducing crime, and you know having communities that are that are stronger and less at risk. Okay. Thank you very much, Caroline. That's very open, and honest as, well, as usual. Thank you very much. Okay, people. That's Kenny Lloyd, True Ferret, filming from Seven Dials on a nice sunny day. And always remember, people, apathy is no longer an option.